What I want to talk about today is some key signs and things that you will experience if you are cutting your protein a little bit too low. Protein contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. And if your body does not have a positive nitrogen balance, you won't be able to add lean muscle tissue. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and today we're going to be talking about signs of protein deficiency. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the last video on figuring out how much protein you need for your specific goals. At the end of that video, I have a very detailed chart describing how much protein you should have based off of a variety of requirements. So the thing I wanna talk about right now is if you are getting enough protein, you will definitely have stable energy levels, you will feel really good, it'll be a lot easier to reach your goals. However, vegans and vegetarians are not the only people at risk for protein deficiency. A lot of people think if you're plant-based, that means you're gonna have a harder time hitting your protein goals. However, it is actually quite easy for vegans and vegetarians to hit their protein goals with a variety of plant-based proteins. If you are a vegan or vegetarian and you need extra support on figuring out how to go about that, I have some excellent programs and resources for you. I have the six week shred available in a vegan and vegetarian edition, which these programs are great for those who wanna take a macros based approach to their nutrition and for those who have 25 pounds or less to lose. However, what I wanna talk about today is some key signs and things that you will experience if you are cutting your protein a little bit too low. So the first thing you will experience is muscle loss. And while some of you may think intuitively that eating less protein will mean it's easier to lose weight, you may not be losing the right kind of weight. So if you are not in a positive nitrogen balance, that means protein is the only macronutrient outside of carbohydrates and fats that contain nitrogen. Fats and carbs both contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Now, protein contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. And if your body does not have a positive nitrogen balance, you won't be able to add lean muscle tissue. Instead, what's going to happen is your body is going to be in a catabolic state where it is going to actually eat away the protein sources in your muscles as well as your joints and you are going to end up losing muscle mass and you'll have more of a skinny fat style look. So muscle loss is definitely something that will occur if you are not eating enough protein content. So the next sign of protein deficiency is actually low energy. You may be in the gym trying to work hard trying to train, trying to do everything, but you may feel just excessively fatigued. If you feel very, very tired, lacking energy, and unable to perform at the level you want to slash need to to hit your goals in the gym, you may be deficient on your protein levels. So you definitely wanna dial that back up under those conditions. The next sign of protein deficiency is aching joints. So your joints are protected by a fluid, which is a viscous non-Newtonian fluid that will help allow your body to function, minimize friction, and this fluid is known as synovial fluid. Now this synovial fluid, it consists of protein from blood plasma as well as joint tissue. So what happens is if your body is not getting enough protein from dietary sources, your joints, that fluid around your joints that allows it to be fluid and allow you to move without having friction and pain, and soreness and stiffness, your body can easily pull from that joint fluid as well as from your muscles. So if your muscles ache, if your joints are stiff, if things feel tight, you most likely are not getting enough protein and the protein that you do have that you need for your body to function is just insufficient to get you moving to the weight you need to. In the past, I've talked about joint health. I've talked about specific supplements that I recommend for that, but having an appropriate amount of protein for your goals will certainly help support this as well. So you definitely want to be mindful of the synovial fluid around your joints because 
that is a very high in protein substance that is very crucial to support your health. And this substance, it's almost like the consistency of egg whites. It's a very viscous type of a fluid that helps your joints move and help you not feel stiff. So that's another sign of protein deficiency. And last but not least is unstable blood sugar. So protein allows your body to release carbohydrates at a rate that is stable and steady and your brain needs carbohydrates to function on typical diet this does not include ketogenic diet so that's completely separate we could talk about that in a separate video but for all practical purposes your brain needs glucose to function and if your brain and blood is not releasing that at a stable rate you are going to feel hangry <laughs> yes hangry hungry plus angry it's a legit condition. It can be addressed with proper protein to satisfy those cravings. And it can be an issue because you know you can be resulting in mood swings, erratic cravings. If you constantly feel like you need starchy carbs, you need sugar, you need sweets, or even you need coffee, if you feel like you just need those things, you're most likely low in protein. So again, how much protein do you need? Watch my other video for those specific requirements. There is a chart at the end of that telling you how much you should have for your goals. And there are caveats around the typical bodybuilding rule of one gram of protein per pound body mass. I explain all of those in the chart. So take a look at that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you have any questions related to whether or not you are protein deficient, please let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.